welcome you all in this lecture we are going to display one pattern okay and this pattern we will do in visual basic using nested for loop as you know in nested for loop your outer for loop will keep track of your row number and inner for loop will keep track of your uh, what column number so here and this is here label i have to enter here row size here i have to enter the uh, i have to write a column size okay so enter row size enter column size and text box you have to enter row and row column but this thing we will do later on oh this is i have taken one command button i will uh, write the uh, what is that uh, name i will give the command button i will give you pattern okay okay pattern and in this case i am going to change the name so i am changing the name as a see the naming of your uh, button always give cmd start with cmd cmd pattern cmd pattern and now double click on it you will get get this cmd pattern okay code in this just write nested for loop code for i equal to 1 to 5 so this is your i will keep track of which number row number how many rows five rows start from what first row to fifth row next this is so this is i first for loop is outer for loop next inner for loop will be a j j keep track of your column number so j, j will start from one and it will go up to what it suppose uh, how many column four column so each row will have a four column okay so i am going to print what i am going to print star okay and see Uh, i want to show you wait so i'm printing what star uh, star i have to if i want to print i have to use uh, keep it in, inside uh, double quote okay so now you just type here next okay and the next what this is the inner loop uh, closing so next is what j so j has to be incremented by 1 okay after this you have to type here next what next i this is the outer loop of your closing and so i equal to i plus 1 will happen okay see let's execute this part only so what will happen so total how many element will come 5 into 4 20 so 20 star will come so now let's see i will click on pattern so but it is coming on full vertically i want in uh, one in mat matrix format okay so how to get in matrix format so this you can see print star after that you just give a semicolon when you will give semicolon na so each nested for loop how many time it will run suppose it is running four times no so it will come in one line okay after printing four times uh, you should go to the next line next next line next row so how to go for that you have to before this next i Okay, after your next J, you just type here print. Okay, I will show you up to what what will happen. Okay, see, so it is coming in one line. But how I want? I want in matrix format. So what I will do? Print. Just just type here print. That's it. No need to just print means it will move to the next line. You can you will see. You can see. Now how it is coming? So how many column are there? You can see. So one, two, three, four, five, five row, and each row is having how many column? One, two, three, four, four column. So this is one pattern. Okay. So one more pattern will be your uh, when we will do. Okay. So next I am going to print which one? I. Okay, I keep track of which number? I will keep track of your uh, which number? Row number. So let's see. So print I did. So it is coming like this. So why? Because I have removed this semicolon. Okay, you keep the semicolon. Okay. After this, you do like this. It's coming now. You can see. So. Inner loop is executing four times. Outer loop is executing five times. So here I have printed the which one? You can know for each row the row number will be same. Okay, okay. Now this is the row number printed. Next I can print the column number also. So what I will type here? Print J. How you are doing in C language? No, same thing you have to do here also. Clicking. See pattern got printed. So now 
I want to here I have to enter here row size here I have to enter the column size uh, so that means if I enter here the row size is uh, what four so that means four row will come how many column two column so each row will contain two two element how to do this program let's see nothing you have to do what you have to do simply just in this for loop only okay in this uh, cmd pattern only just store uh, what uh, suppose we take one variable row row or r r stands for row row equal to what you convert val val of what you are converting text one text one dot txt okay then c equal to you are converting text to two box txt okay store in c okay after that instead of a five you just write here r row number row size r stands for your row size because text one you are entering row size text two you are entering column size then here then this is your inner for loop here you have to type your word c okay c stands for column size okay so here we have not declared any variable if you want you can declare the variable deem uh, what i as integer you have to you have to specify like this each one okay then j as integer then uh, then r as a integer then c as a integer if you are not declaring this variable also it will accept but the data type will be what variant data type okay so because we are giving the integer value no automatically the data type will change to what integer data type so no need to get worry for those things so now we will execute i think you have all of you understood this nested for loop which this thing we require in your while doing your matrix two dimensional matrix okay so see here label one label two i should enter i have to change the caption how i can change how i can change this caption go to the design part view object view code and here what i will type here in this caption enter a row size row size here what you are going to enter column size column size okay this uh, i am now executing okay what is the row size uh, row size is suppose uh, six and how many column only two column you can see so if i if uh, i want to print i can print the star also so now i am changing instead of j printing i am changing to uh, which one star give some space like this you give okay let's execute how many row eight row how many column four column or uh, five column pattern see what is coming so how many row i want uh, how many row i want only seven row and how many column i want 10 column see so you have to do here cls you can make here one clear button okay so to get to know so how many i want only three rows and how many column two column okay three rows two column this time i'm changing to eight column size it's coming this time i'm changing to 12 column size coming okay i think you have all of you understood thank you for watching please like my channel please please subscribe my channel thank you for watching